Okay, guys, you guys remember when we were building that GT Performer? Right here. You guys can see where, where the reflector was, was clamped on. You see how it's white? And look at the yellow. I mean, I mean, a lot of people have tried to do bleach, wet sanding it, a bunch of stuff, but we are here at Rocket Blast. What they do is they do vapor honing. The homie here, he's into cars just like us. One day we're like, hey, you know what? I wonder if you could vapor hone this and see how it works. So uh, let's check it out. So we figured, you know what? Let's give this a try and maybe, maybe we'll, we'll discover something new. I hope I can help you guys out. Yeah. All right, so this is just oxidation, right? Just yeah, years yeah. of oxidation. Yeah. So, so, so this right, is where the brakes hit, right? Yeah, so right now if you took like something, you scrape it, mm. it will turn white. Oh, really? Yeah. So we have here Reese, the owner. What's up? And uh, I was showing him the wheel and I was like, you know what? A lot of you guys know that a lot of this is, is surface, but it's surface enough where you just can't rub it off. So, this is Reese's machine. What, uh, what, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna vapor blast the surface and try to get the surface profile back to the original um, without any damage or heating up the material. So, so, so what's the difference with this and uh, sandblasting? Uh, water injection. Water injection. And low pressure. So, the, so if we did sandblasting, it would probably destroy this. It'll, it'll probably round out all these edges and all that, right? And this one won't. Why? Uh, the low pressure and the cushion of the water, uh -huh. that's what does it. That's so there's nothing in the water, just water? There is media. Okay. So there's uh, glass or aluminum mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever you want to load it up with. Okay. And um, basically when the air and the media coming through uh, the hose, it meets with the water in the nozzle and it cushions the impact with, with the water on the surface. Cool. So and it. just... You, do you think that it's going to get like cut all these lines away and all that? Because I know that I know like a lot of the old school guys that are very particular on on keeping a lot of the, the old school features and all the little the little markings and stuff. Sure, like that. I have a good feeling. Okay. So I just did um, some interior parts for a Corvette, a '67 C2 Corvette, mm -hmm. and they were actually fiberglass, and he wanted to strip the paint and take it back down to bare. Okay to repaint and do the whole restoration. And we got it, so I, okay. I have a strong feeling that we can uh, get it to the finish that you want. Okay, dude, let's check it out. Chance. Going in. The pressure and build it up um, to see where we're at with this. Sometimes it doesn't need that, depending on the media. Sometimes it needs a lot. Put in it, and it just vapor blasts all the corn on my foot. <laughs> well, we can give that a try if you want, but I think I have to charge you extra for that. <laughs> okay, so right now we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting this wet at 40 psi. Okay, so. A uh, little bit of a difference there. I'm gonna bump it up five. So 45. think this would do so good in one of those Vietnamese nail, nail salons, you know, they're soaking the lady's feet, they're sitting there filing it. <laughs> if they have a miniature version of this thing, where they sit there, they can blast these old ladies' foot instead of sitting there filing. I, hey, I think we found a new business. Come on, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, we just found a new application for the vapor owner. <laughs> Is that happy now? Yeah. I'm gonna be happy with the results. <laughs> I don't know about the feeling. Alright, so this is what, like about two minutes in the yeah. blaster? Two minutes. Two oh minutes. wow. You could visibly tell. Okay, let's take this outside. Here's up, right? Come on guys. 
Okay, you guys can see right here, noticeably different right here. Oh, I'm in the shadow. Oh, wow. Yeah, here's, here, here's, here's the, here was it, what it was before, and look. The words, not damaged at all. Amazing, you know what? I think this is the ticket, guys. I think this is it. I think I, I have unlocking the uh, the secret code on how to whiten the old mags. So uh, let's uh, let's have the whole wheel done, and then we'll see after all this is done. What are we looking at as it costs per wheel? Probably fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what guys, 50 bucks, if you guys think about how much it costs to buy the bleach <laughs> and then how much it costs is the time and the effort. And I don't know if you guys know, my mom is actually a beautician and she gave me some of the peroxide, the powder mix. They mix and they put it in the hair. Oh yeah, the peroxide. <laughs> so, so what my mom said was that, you know, I gotta be careful because if I put this on the wheel and you put it on the sun, depends on how intense the sun is, the heat would actually brittle the, uh, the plastic. So this is a hazard. That's why if you guys look, go way back, way back, we were attempting to do it. She actually stopped us. She said, you know what? It's gonna make this thing brittle. So that, that's when we halted. And then uh, shout out to Charles, my homie, for introducing me to Reese and this place. We've been meaning to do it for a while, but we've been busy. But I think this is it. So 50 bucks per wheel, way worth it. We're gonna do the whole wheel. This is just a test. And then uh, I'll show you guys the result, okay? I know it gets more white than that. If you can see, you see the haze? Mm -hmm. See how it's still kind of yellowish? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, yeah, that's just one pass. Right? Yeah. We're gonna have to... So if you see these thing, this thing white, it is it is like that. Oh. Yeah, it was, it's super, but but I get it. The main thing is not to, not to get rid of the details right. of this. And like that, if you start seeing it kind of like it eroding it, yeah, dirt down. Yeah, you know, there's a... Um... This is just all plastic, right? Yeah. That's what the media will do. It'll start pushing the edges. So mm -hmm. this was an experiment. We're yeah. trying to mat this. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I cranked up the PSI for more pressure, but what it started doing on the flat surfaces, it started getting the, the finish that we want, making it matte. But on the edges, because you know, you have to do it. So what is it? Is it, is it melting it? Is heating it up melting it? Pushing. Oh, it's, it's literally pushing it. Yeah, that's the pressure. So there's just a lot of pressure on it. So on plastics, depending on what it is, since this is very thin plastic, yeah. you just have to you have to watch certain things, especially the edges where where the media can get pushed. And I'll show you the media. This is what's in there right now. Oh, it's cocaine. No, <laughs> it's cocaine. No, no, that's that's no, that's that's sugar. This no. is this is this is the pure cocaine. That's cocaine. That's cocaine. <laughs> that's that's the one you want. This is just sugar. <laughs> this is the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's no. let Mushu try it. Uh, this is this is how we do it at, at Rocket Blasting. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now you know why we're homies. Now you know why we, we get along. Okay? Just dive in there yes, yes. for a good time. <laughs> Here at Rocket Blasting, we do more than just blast. Yes, we sniff and we do. We work with Happy Nail, sponsored by them. Um, so this is uh, what's in there right now. This is the finest mesh glass, and I think I'm gonna switch out the media. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I start hitting your wheels to this one, 100 percent this one to try okay. to get that that whiter finish okay. that you're looking okay. for. This is very very fine. You can tell by the yeah. way it pours. Even so, that's coarser. So this, so so just to let you guys know, this is almost the, the consistency of like sugar. Yes. T uh, table sugar, and this is like powder. Yes. Like baking soda. Yep. Oh, this is dusty. Yep. Yeah, you can definitely see. So okay. there's more weight in this. This breaks down. Uh, when you uh, when you throw it in the blaster, it breaks down to about this, but you can never really get the finish on on this as bright as you could with a finer mesh glass. God, are you guys excited? I'm excited, dude. I want to see this. This what I got left is um, aluminum. This is brown aluminum oxide, okay. and this is the most aggressive stuff I have. The difference between these and this is the the shape. These are beads and these are shards. Okay. And obviously the material is different. This is glass and this is aluminum. Do you strip chrome? Chrome off and stuff with that? Um, it depends on the integrity of the okay. chrome and there's different, you know, qualities of chrome, yeah. like show chrome and, uh -huh. you know, so it, it kind of depends. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes I can, sometimes I can just mat it. Okay. Yeah, okay. It all depends on what it is, but 
this is the most aggressive stuff where I can like strip paint and get it to a, a little bit more of a flat finish. Okay. You guys owe me big. <laughs> you guys owe me big. I'm always doing homework for you guys. Look at that, guys. Look at the Before detail. After. That's brand new right there. See, look. If you look, if you guys look at the edges of this, it's still sharp. And that's what I always yep. talk about when people go out there and they'll get it clean, they'll get it polished or sandblasted. All those are gone. That's yep. a lot of the they'll details. Get smoothed out or rounded out. Inside, look at the brass, guys. It didn't even damage all. Nope. Wow. The okay. Port, the ports came and the exhaust ports. I mean, you can just imagine how black they were. No. We have this at the shop. Mushu will probably go in there. We'll probably get a haircut. We'll probably put our sandals in it. You know, you guys do not know what we would put inside that machine. <laughs> you guys know what we do at the shop. So it's good. It's good that you have it here. Okay. Okay. That looks to be really dangerous for me to have one. Okay. So let's not.